Hi, I'm Stan Rouse, your superintendent. I want to talk today to you about the NM Teach or new teacher evaluation system. I sent you an email on October the 21st to kind of outline the issues as I see them. Let me first tell you this. I really do appreciate all that you do for our students. Teachers, you do an amazing job with a very complex issue of educating our children. Thank you for that. I'll tell you something else you may not want to hear. We have a new teacher evaluation system in New Mexico. Las Cruces Public Schools has to comply with the New Mexico uh, Public Education Department requirements to have that evaluation system in place. Now it's being fought in courts right now. There's a writ of mandamus that's been brought forward and several other court actions that are being taken today. This district is not part of those. This district, however, is interested in quality education, and I know you are too. No matter what system is used to evaluate you, it's important that we have good, candid, honest discussions about what we're trying to accomplish and how we're doing in those regards. Thank you for your efforts in doing that. I'll tell you something else. The system has several moving parts to it. And you've become aware of those just like I have over the last year or so. What I will tell you is this. There are some local parts to the evaluation system that we can control. As I told you yesterday in the email, I intend on beginning to leverage for us in that particular regard. And that's actually in the 10% criteria that I know that we've been debating for the last uh, month or so in this district. Let me recap that for you just real quickly. Out of the evaluation, there's a component that is specifically about you and how you function. We submitted a plan that had eight points in it that the Public Education Department denied, rejected. We sent back another modification that was rejected. We then went to the State Department and asked them what had been approved. And the only item at the time had been around attendance. With time short, I made a choice to include attendance because I thought it was definable and something that was absolutely measurable for every one of you. Now, there was a lot of concern about that, and I understand the concern about evaluations. I really do. I want to be fair. So we've looked very carefully at what options might be there. The state of New Mexico tells me there are two attendance, which we'd already filed, or uh, we can have uh, surveys done about you as a teacher. If you're a kindergarten through second grade teacher, that survey would go to parents. If you're a teacher of third graders all the way through seniors, the survey would be completed by students. There's only one catch. As of today, the survey is not published yet by the Public Education Department. The rubric that will be used to measure you under that survey also is not published. But I want to give you a choice. Your choice will be, one, to go ahead and go with attendance, which we've already published those parameters, or number two, under the survey, which is yet to be published. The choice is yours. You see, I do trust you, and I do believe you as a professional should have the opportunity to make a choice about your evaluation components that we can control. So have at it. We're going to be sending you over the next week or so an email that will be instructive to you about how to make your choice. Please do that. And hear this, I don't care what you choose. It's just important that we complete the evaluation system in a fashion that's appropriate. So thank you for the hard work you're doing. Good luck in making your choice. You can contact my office. You can contact Eric Frass at the uh, HR office and receive more information if you'd like to do that. Talk it over. And I apologize that not all of the parts of the evaluation document are completed at the state level. You see, we have no control of that. What we do have control of is good evaluation, good interaction, and by the way, folks, good education in Las Cruces Public Schools, thanks to you. Have a good day.